Okay, so this is just in a reaction of uh, what we heard the, the, these two days, I think. I thought it would be interesting to, to continue the discussion with a, a comparison between ODEs and PDEs, uh, INRA problems, uh, and, and control and optimization. So this is a, a work with, uh, mostly with Alain Rapaport, who is a research director at INRA, and he is also the scientific leader of uh, the NINRIA team at, uh, at Montpellier, and actually I, I was uh, in his team for a, a, few, a few months, uh, uh, two years ago, when I came from, uh, from Grenoble to Montpellier, and he was very kind to, uh, to welcome me, and actually we, we, we did a, a little work together regarding the bioremediation of natural resources. So, the lake problem, uh, you have here a polluted lake, and what you want to do, is use a bioreactor to remove pollution from the lake. Okay, so of course you want to do it as uh, as efficiently as possible. And the, the the main the main thing is that you don't want to th to spread some products in in the lake, as you would do is in your swimming pool. Okay, because you want to preserve some uh, biodiversity in the lake and whatever. You don't want to put chlor. And uh, what I want to insist on, in particular for young students here, is that uh, in your modeling motivations, you have to make things as simple as possible, but not simpler. Okay, so uh, that, that means that we should be aware of the assumption, uh, assumptions and uh, limits of our models, and of course help to improve and, pro and propose new models. So that, that was ex exactly the, the spirit of uh, Alain Rapaport when he came uh, and, and, and talk to me about his, uh, his modeling problems with the lake. So this is the problem again uh, on a scheme. You have your lake, you have your bioreactor, which actually uh, should be much smaller, but for the drawing purposes, I, 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 it's a large bioreactor. And you pump your water from the lake, you treat it inside the bioreactor, okay? And then you, you, you take the water back from the bioreactor through the lake. And how does it work? In the bioreactor, you have some biomass, which uses the, the, the pollution of the lake as a nutrient. Okay? The biomass grows thanks to the nutrient. And at the exit, you, you separate the, the biomass from the water, thanks to a settler. Okay? And you send back the water, the fresh water, depolluted, in the lake. And the idea is that you don't want to put biomass directly in the lake. Otherwise, that would, what you would do, you would take the, your biomass and put it in the lake. But you, want, you don't want to do it. That's why you, you need this settler here in order to, to clean the, the water from biomass before putting it back into the lake. Okay? Um, so, a few notations. VL is the volume of the, of the lake. VR, the volume of the bioreactor. XR is the biomass concentration in the bioreactor, okay, which grows with the, with the pollution. SL and SR are the pollutant concentration in the lake and in the bioreactor. And as you can see, there is no XL biomass in the lake because, as I told you, I don't want to put, I want XL equals zero, actually, okay? So there is no XL. Mu, I will, I will come back to it, is the biomass growth law. So it is it's just a law explaining how the biomass growth in presence of nutrients. Okay, it can be a linear law, it can be uh, uh, saturated uh, with a mono law, etc. So there are lots of, uh, of, uh, of possible mu's. And Q uh, is the pump discharge, the, the, the flow, okay, that, it, that can be controlled by the user. Okay, so that, that's the, the problem that uh, Alain had. And uh, in, the, in the first uh, approximation, he considered that the, the, the pollution was completely uh, constant in space, both in the bioreactor and the lake. Okay, so we're just working with a system of ODs because there is no, no space here. So these are the equations of the, of the, the chemostat. So you have... Uh, this is the work of Jacques Monod and, and, and many other authors in, uh, in the US and in England in particular. But uh, th these equations are the following. So the, the evolution of, the, of the, the biomass in the bioreactor, okay, is a growth term. 
Okay? The more you have, uh, the, the more nutrient you have, the more you, you have of, of XR, and also it's, it's uh, linear with, with XR. Okay? The, it's uh, exponential uh, uh, growth in a way. And this is, this corresponds to what you extract from the bioreactor. Yeah, okay, you, you pump some water here, exactly here. So you take this quantity of biomass at the end. SR, same thing, the, uh, the, 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 same, the same term here, but with a minus, because the, the pollution is, is, con is uh, eaten by the biomass. Okay, so the, you have a minus here. And you have a plus Q over VR SL, which comes from here. And you have a minus Q over VR SR, which comes from here. Okay? You, you put some pollution from the lake, you extract some pollution from the bioreactor. That gives you the equation of the, on, the, on the pollution in the bioreactor. And the, the equation on, on the pollution for the, for the lake is much simpler. You just have the, the pumping effect, okay? So you put some, some because yes, here SR is not zero, because uh, yes, I, I didn't talk about that. Sorry, it's a, it's a mistake. But in the bioreactor, okay, you clean the water, but the water you, you take at the end is not completely depolluted, of course. It would be the case if you would wait an infinite time in the, in the bioreactor, but that's not what you want to do, okay? So you the, you 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 pump back some some cleaner water, but there is still some pollution inside, okay? So SR here at the, at the exit is not, is not zero. That's why, oh, sorry. That's why you have uh, the, this term here. Okay, and uh, in red, um, okay, you have the chemostat equations, the classical chemostat equations, which is only for the bioreactor. What you can do is a slow fast approximation. So what does it mean? It means that the two dynamics in red and black are not going at the same time scales because of the ratio of the volumes. Okay, you can understand that things are going much faster in the bioreactor, which is very small, compared to the lake, that is a big, a big uh, mass of, of water. Okay? So if VR over VL is small, which is reasonably uh, true, then you can split your, uh, your system into two uh, uh, coupled systems, okay? But actually, you, what you do is you solve the fast dynamics, so the, the bioreactor by itself. You take the asymptotic value of, of, uh, at the small scale. That's why, that's why there is an infinity here. You take the, 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 the limit of what's in the, the, the red system, and you put it back in the, into the, the black one. So you decouple the, the, the dynamics between the, the BR reactor and the lake. And this makes things much easier, of course. Okay? So you have the paper of uh, Pedro Garrardo uh, from, uh, from Chile, and Alain Rapaport and other co-authors in uh, Automatica. And uh, what, what the, the, the theorem, in the case where uh, here, for, for, this, for the sake of simplicity, I, I took mu of x equals mu x, so a linear growth, but you can have also, uh, others, uh, other, other laws um, much more realistic than this one. So if you have uh, initial conditions positive, of course, if you have no biomass or no pollution, nothing, nothing happens. But if you have a, a, a positive uh, initial uh, concentration of biomass, so it doesn't work anymore, and a positive uh, concentration of, of, uh, of pollution, then there is a critical flow rate, QC, which is such that if you pump faster than QC, then you're gonna, uh, you're gonna go too fast, okay? And your bioreactor won't have the time to clean the water. It will be saturated by the water coming from the lake. And at some point, you will converge towards SL0, which means that you will have SL everywhere in the system, in the lake, of course, but also in the bioreactor. And you will just uh, make the water turn bet between the two systems, but you, you won't clean any anything. The, the biomass will be lost, actually. Okay? But if you don't pump too fast, then you converge towards an equilibrium, which is RR, SR infinity, smaller than SL, which means that you did depollute your water. Okay? And, uh, okay. And, and, and that's what you want to do, actually. And then you put it back, okay? This is the SR infinity value that I just wrote here, okay? SR infinity equals Q over mu VR. 
and I put it back in the in the lake system, and now I, I just consider this system, okay? And what is the best flow rate? What, what I want to do is decrease SL as fast as possible, okay? So I want to play on Q to have this decrease as fast as possible, and of course you can check that this value of Q is the, the best one. So you can provide a value of Q which takes into account the evolution of SL, and, uh, and uh, so at the, at the beginning, of course, SL is strong, so you have a, you have a, a flow rate which is, which is large, and as time goes by, you just diminish a little bit the, 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 the power bump, because this gives you the, the most, uh, the, the, the best, the, the best technique. Okay, a few simulations just to show that uh, uh, here you have uh, one at the beginning as SL. You have your target, which is uh, divided by 10, and uh, this one is give, the, the red curve is given by the best constant Q. That means that you give the operator a, a, a constant value, and he can he can leave the, the room uh, because the, the, the flow rate does not depend on T. So that gives a, 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 a good curve, but the best thing to do is to, as I told you, to have an adaptive uh, well, uh, uh, time evolu uh, evolution of Q, and uh, this gives a much faster uh, uh, depollution of the, of the lake. Okay, partial conclusion, and I, I'm almost done. The ODE system is nice to do some control on the flow rate. You can do, uh, even with a more complicated uh, growth flow, you can, you can do some, some optimization, some control on the RDE, which is, which is good. But, of course, is it reasonable to assume that the pollution concentration is homogeneous in the bioreactor and in the lake? Of course not. Okay? So what we did was to provide a PDE-based system only for the lake. You can assume that the bioreactor is small, that you have something uh, uh, moving the fluid inside, agitator, or, or things like that. So you can, you can imagine that the, the, the concentration in the bioreactor is constant, but not in the lake. So in the lake, we have a <coughs> Navier-Stokes equation in the simulations that will run a 2D Navier-Stokes in, in, the, in the lake. Uh, for incompressible fluid and an equation, uh, transport diffusion equation for the for the pollution, uh, of course, transported by the velocity u provided by the by the by the velocity field, and the boundary conditions are important because they couple uh, u and s again, because u in here is a profile function times uh, the the flow rate, okay. Uh, for example, A is a Poisson uh, thing, uh, whatever you want. U out is the same, because you want to pump the same quantity of water in and out. And SL in is provided by what? It's provided by the value of SR of Q inside the, the bioreactor. And SR infinity of Q, if I still consider the slow fast dynamics I talked to you about. Okay? So, as you can see, uh, SL depends on Q, U depends on Q, and actually Q depends on SL because you adapt the, the discharge, as I told you, with respect to, the, 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 to SL. So this is completely coupled, actually. You cannot imagine that you solve U and then afterwards you solve, you solve S. That's what I mean. So just an example, a, a very simple example with a, a polluted lake at the beginning, and you, you, you pump from the left, so you have your bioreactor, and uh, you put the water back from on the right, and uh, okay, that, that, uh, uh, this is an academic lake, okay, circular one. Uh, <clears throat> so the pollution concentration in the lake with the ODE and the and the PDE here are different. Okay, so uh, that means that uh, the, the the at least the ODE model is not is not uh, satisfying. Maybe the PDE model is not either, but uh, <clears throat> so now we, we, we're back to ODE, and that is uh, on, based on the on the on the fact that in the in this specific configuration, you can see that there is an what Alan called an active zone <clears throat> in the middle where the depollution is uh, is really accurate, and a, a dead zone on the borders that uh, where, where nothing happens actually, nothing. Accepted the diffusion process that uh, in the in the uh, evolution equation of S, which at some point 
will make the blue reach the, 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 the bottom of the, of the lake and the top of the lake, but after a long time. So he decided to, to simulate this with a system of ODEs again, with a constant, with a constant uh, uh, value of, of pollution in the active zone. So this would be the blue zone. A, a, a dead zone here, which would be the, the red one, and a diffusion parameter D between the two. So here we have two degrees of freedom, which is the ratio between the two volumes. Okay? You have a V1 plus V2 equals V, so that's for sure, but you can choose V1 or V2. And you have D. Okay? <clears throat> the new ODE model is, is very comparable to the, the one we had before. So, of course, X in the bioreactor is the same, but we have two zones. We don't have SL anymore, but we have S1 and S2. S1 is comparable to the one we had because it is where the pump comes and the pump goes from, from takes water from the lake. But we also have a, a passive uh, zone, the dead zone, which uh, evolution is only uh, provided by D, the, 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 the diffusion uh, parameter between the two zones. Okay. So uh, with this model, okay, existence uniqueness, you can do again some, some optimal control. You can do the same thing as what you did before with the two simple models in ODE. And if you, if you optimize the parameter V1 over V1 plus V2 and D, then you get the same curve as before. But here you have the, the black one is still the one model that we have uh, 10, 10 minutes ago. And here in blue in, and red, but you can't see the difference. I'm sorry, the, the picture is not good, but <laughs> you can see it on my, my computer, but don't worry. Here you have two curves. You have the PDE one and the, the, the two ODs, okay? So one OD is bad. PDE provides some kind of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of uh, uh, well, best model, best ODE model in a way, but with two ODs, you, you can really reach a very good uh, comparison with, uh, with the PDE. And on the right, just for, the, for information, you have the, the evolution and, uh, of D, the, the diffusion parameter between the two zones, with respect to the, to the true viscosity of the PDE model, new S. And uh, actually, it's uh, al almost uh, linear which is not super, uh, surprising okay so when you when you change the value of the of the viscosity which defines the two zones the the blue and the and the red one you have to change the parameter d which uh, computes the dif the the exchanges between the two zones okay <clears throat> and uh, and that's it so the take home message is that uh, uh, we have designed well they have designed the first model and questioned it we proposed the more complicated um, model. Why too much is because you can't. Well, you can hardly do some uh, control on the on the PDE system because it's on the boundary and it's very complicated on nonlinear equations. So we took an intermediary model which seems satisfactory, on which we can still do some optimal control. Okay, so it's a it's a medium model, and uh, of course the question the next question is is the reference PDE model a realistic model? And uh, of course not, because it's a uh, it's a two D it's a two D Navier Stokes with uh, with no uh, no vertical effect. And we we miss a lot of things, of course, but we think it's uh, it's still better than the than the one zone model. And a few references. Thank you for your attention. So pa papers from uh, from these guys, um, master internship from Sebastian Barbier with a lot of uh, simulations, funny simulations of the of the lake. Uh, a patent that uh, we, we had with uh, Alain and Jérôme Armand from INRA. Uh, a paper in revision uh, which was submitted after the patent was accepted because you have to wait. And a, a serious game online, uh, depollution.inria.fr, which was done thanks to the communication uh, 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 at INRIA, Christine Léninger in particular. So it's a game when you can uh, try to, um, to move your pump and uh, increase your, your flow, etc., to try to, to depollute your lake as fast as possible. Thank you again. Okay, so thank you very much, Antoine. So is there a question on this uh, topic?
Yeah. Uh, what about the expression of uh, the momentum growth? Of? Sorry. The momentum growth. The momentum growth in the, uh, the question. So, in, 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 the, in the simple case, but again, in the papers, you, you can take other laws, but uh, what I took is, okay, the, 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 growth, the growth term uh, for XR, for example, is mu of S time X, okay? And mu of X, mu of S here, I took it equals to mu times s, where mu is a constant, so it's a linear growth, which is not reasonable, okay? So this, this, this kind of law. Uh, what you can use is a mono law, which, which saturates after some point, and you can have also some uh, Aldane uh, profile with a, with a decrease after some point. That means that if you have too much food, then it's, it's bad for the population. Okay, so that, that are the kind of models that you have, but of course, uh, uh, I, I, didn't, I did not do the, the simulations with that, and I, don't, I did not talk about these Mono and Aldane models in the, in, the, in, the, in the presentation. But in the papers, and in particular the papers of Alain and etc., they, they consider the, it's, it's just more complicated, and sometimes you don't have an explicit formulation for the, for the optimal control, but you can prove existence and uniqueness. Okay? But of course, you're right. So the, the, this uh, this linear growth is not is not uh, I would say physical, no, biological. Yeah, it's it's not reasonable. Me, and there is an experimental uh, data about no, uh, no, 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 okay. not yet. So another question. Well, more precisely, there are probably some experimental data, but we didn't do any comparison with experimental data. But this this kind of uh, bioreactor thing is used. No? Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you choose in your second uh, EDO model uh, the, the, re the volume fraction between the yeah, dead it, zone and the other one? It's just a numerical optimization. Okay. A numerical optimization. And uh, um, the only thing we, we care about is that we don't want V1 or V2 to be too small. Because okay. we need the slow fast approximation on both systems. So we, we need V1 over VR small and V2 over VR small, okay? So th the only thing is that we just check that the, the, the volume ratio is still big, but otherwise it's, uh, it's a black box. So I don't have any interpretation of, uh, of the ratio uh, to, to provide. Okay, so no more questions? So thank you again. Thank you.